In today's sister conversation, we're going to take some time to reflect over 2017. I'm Lakeisha, your sister coach, and also the founder of A Sister's Truth. Here at A Sister's Truth, we help women to discover, define, and live their truth from manifesting a courageous life without limits. And as your sister coach, it is my job to make sure you have the tools and the encouragement needed to stay true to yourself for a purpose-driven life. So in today's sister conversation, we're going to take some time to reflect over 2017. Yes, I am fully aware that we only have three weeks left to the end of the year, but some of you may have just given up on the year already, and I want to change that around for you. So if you've been following me since the beginning of the year, then you know I set a theme for 2017 instead of New Year's resolutions. So my theme for this year was to do things differently. So I literally... um, did the opposite of what I would normally do or did the opposite of how I would normally would react in a situation or when faced with a decision. So the first thing I did differently this year was I did my vision board differently. I'll do a card to show you the video so you can have more details on my vision board. But just by doing things differently this year, I've been able to up level my business and my personal life. Now let me be clear. I've had some pitfalls this year for sure, which is to be expected because when you're doing things differently, you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. And when you step outside of your comfort zone, there's risk that needs to be taken and there's lessons to be learned. But the trick is, it's not to let your lessons deter you from your commitments. So despite having probably the same amount of highs and lows, probably just a little bit. I've had an amazing, amazing year. But you know, when we get into a funk where our lows are higher than our highs, we tend to forget about all the wins that we've had. So that's why I want to take a moment to reflect over 2017 so we can think about all the wins and then we can refresh, refocus, and restart in order to end our year on a positive note. Now take a moment out of your busy day to reflect over how the year has been for you. Then make a commitment to end the year on your terms. So what are some of the discoveries that you made after taking time to reflect? Let's talk about it. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And while you're reflecting, always remember that you are enough and your truth is beautiful. Hey sis, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch our video. I am so excited to let you know that we're going to be uploading new videos every week to give you the tools, the encouragement, the motivation, the inspiration that you need in order to live a courageous life without limits. So in order to stay connected with us, I need you to hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell so you can get notifications every single time we upload a new video. In the meantime, Check out these videos right here. And until I see you again, always remember that you are enough and your truth is enough.